Yo, yo. Yes, sir. What's up, guys? Yes. This DJ will kick the floor in three, in three, two, three, two, two, one, ah. one, one, one. Hello and welcome to Mzansi Reality. We are back again. It's that time and today, just take your seat and chill. Yeah. Because you don't want to be moving around or doing something else. You're going to miss something. And definitely you're going to be asking questions. Because I'm still sitting here and I'm like, why? And I don't know. I know. That some of you are going to be asking questions. But look, let us do what we have to do best because that's what we do. Mm. Get what you get, we do what we do. Uh, mm. How you comprehend and listen and try to reason with it is also your story. Our story is to give it to you. We have done so and mm. we're doing so. Mm. By tomorrow or by today or by, I don't know, you will definitely... Be on par with us. Not only with us, but with what's going on, especially if you can't mm. afford to like, be all over looking for information. Oh, every day there's something new with the Tabo Beste Saga. Every single day. You just are shocked. It's God left us. God left you, you, you. Who are these people? Who, who are these people? I mean, they got up to a lot of things. Uh, we're still traumatized as a nation. I think after this, we're going to need counseling, eh? Definitely. They will need counseling. Yo. Yeah. So, guys, we have more updates um, that have been coming from uh, some of the sources and publications that have released some of these news. And uh, Dr. Nandipa is allegedly the one who made it possible for her father, Cornelia Sekeleni, to get that bail of 10,000 rands. And she's allegedly also throwing Tabo Beste under the bus. Okay. She's said to be singing like a canary. Dr. Nandipa Magudumana has allegedly told top police investigators to keep her father away from the mess as he played no role in Tabo Beste's daring escape. She also s- said that her father, Zolile Sekeleni, did not know the convicted Tabo Beste from a bar of soap. Okay, the police who visited her at Baiza Makate pre- female prison in Gronstadt told Sunday World that Nandipa sang like a canary when she was questioned about Bester's audacious prison escape. You know, this reminds me of all the TikTok videos that I've been seeing of people saying that uh, what Dr. Nandipa is probably singing or is probably doing right now and they're playing that Nicki Minaj song where it sounds like she's 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 like singing Mm. (laughs) literally snitching (laughs) after getting caught do not laugh let's continue oh go on jay yes some people don't like it when i laugh yeah so uh or de- so yes canary when she said she was being questioned about Bester's audacious prison escape which embarrassed the whole country in no time nandipa began to sing like a canary this is one of the cops narrating what was happening to the sunday world uh, telling us to keep my dad out of it all he knows nothing about it and it is just the thought that he could be involved in crime is both unconvincing and far-fetched she said that with a straight face according to the detective well well uh, these things started long time ago by the way emily i'm I'm just joking uh mocking uh, those people who say you must not laugh Uh, you must laugh as much as you can i mean some of these things they seem like a movie and in a movie, you do laugh and cry. For those who are vested in movies, they have all the emotions that they need to share. So you also have to share yours because this is a movie, except it is live. It is We're happening live. live. Well, um, uh, so you're not going to stop laughing. For me, Emily, uh, the problem is that I've, I've, I've always seen this coming, you know? I've always mm-hmm. felt like this is going to be coming. When Dr. Namdi Powers called the good doctor, it was always 
clear to me what is coming. Mm. And and I, I've, I've, I've said it. What if they turn her into a state witness? Mm. The news that are coming up now are not surprising to me. They mm. are something that I've been expecting to come. It has come sooner than later. Mm. Because I, I from that voice that all of a sudden now is being affirmed by the brother and all those other people, mm. it, it, it surprises me. And, and I've, I'm going to have a lot of questions as you go along. And mm. I might be annoying because I need to pose no, these no. questions without actually judging anyone. Mm. The voice was kind of made to create this platform. The the robots that are busy fighting the good for the good doctor was, was sort of created for this platform. Mm. It, now the singing and the news that are not supposed to come, by the way, from the investigation being leaked by whoever leaked them because the, the news people are not there to listen to these people singing and doing all those things. It's an investigator and the person who's being investigated who should know. So for the public to know this, it might give them joy that is she's singing. Mm. But the question is, at what price? Maybe the price we have seen with the daddy being released. I mean, mm. is it worth it? Is you it worth know. it to actually overlook uh, the things that this person has actually put the victims that have been been a collateral damage or whatever that you might call them Eesh. by going there, going all out? As it as it is alleged that she started visiting this person in 2011, it's being alleged that way. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So, is, is it worth it to say that okay, become a state witness, we will slap you with one year and all that? Or I don't know. I'm not saying that is going to happen. But all these movements that are seemingly giving Dr. Nandi pa a platform. Mm. And all of a sudden, there are people now who are coming out who, by the way, are forgotten that they are accomplished to such because they are telling us the story of what Tabo Baxter did. Mm. We do not know Tabo Baxter. Tabo mm. Baxter was banned in, in a prison. And Tabo Baxter was arrested, by the way. Tabo Baxter is in, a, is in prison. For you to come and narrate the story that happened outside... We want to get into the gist of who took Dabo Baxter out, who actually uh, made sure that we are subjected to such a notorious person that is being painted now. And that person should be held accountable at, a, at an equal level as Tabo Baxter. It right shouldn't now. be exemption or whatsoever. Mm. Because, Emily, if you go and open the door for a lion to come out and chow people, you are also liable for those people's lives. Yes. It cannot be that all of a sudden now you are singing and you are telling us how you opened the door for this lion and then this lion came out and chowed everyone and we are only looking at the end part of this lion coming out and then doing the damage. Who took the lion out because the lion was caged? Mm. So I, I'm not disputing that maybe Tower Baxter is indeed one of those people who are capable of all these things that some of them we might go through and be alleging at, at this point in time because no one has a solid evidence. But clearly the power that the person holds, uh, it's a similar power that this person had when he had the key of releasing that person. Mm. And we are in no means or form defending Tabo Besta. No, no way. No way. No and one we would are not in their saying right mind he's a that. saint. That's not what we are saying. But we are not also overlooking the things that we should be saying just because someone is beautiful. Just mm. because someone has a degree. Which we were not, by the way, there when they obtained their degree. We do not know, do not care how they obtained them. Everyone has a degree, but everyone, if they go against the law, they will be subjected to such. Mm -hmm. As as the people of politics might call it, mm -hmm. the mighty law. The mighty law. Then people must face it. Yep. You know, 
It can it can be that all of a sudden people now uh, are doing the right things. Uh, people are opening cases when at the right time. People it can't. Mm. People must face the music mm. and take accountability for the actions that they've committed. We have been shifted into looking at what is happening into this country. Mm. We've been focusing on this. It has become the issue of of. South Africans. The issue that was uh, was arrested long time ago. He's supposed to be sitting in the prison. Yes. He's supposed to be sitting in the prison and, and nothing look at that. He would not have been able to get out without the assistance of all of these people. Anything that he does after that is 50% him and 50% the person who assisted. And that person was benefiting at the time. Allegedly, mm-hmm. so it cannot be. In fact, not even allegedly, because the you were staying in the in the very same uh, com- complex as as this man. Nice places that you were staying on the cars and all those things. It cannot be that we overlook that. It cannot. Mm-hmm. We we can't just simply because you uh, you obtained a degree from vets, you are a doctor, and then you are beautiful. You look beautiful, and then now all of a sudden we feel sorry for you. No. What about the people that have really lost their lives? Who are never going to get this rectifi- rectifying that is happening now. They are not going to get any 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 uh, grace or, or they are not going to rise from wherever they are by the, by the way. Nope. They are gone. If indeed that and, is the case. And, and look at the torment that the families, we've been looking at, at Katleho, uh, Be- Bering's family and, and, and the mother, the grief. It, it's, it's, it's horrific. Look, continue, Emil, because we might, I don't want to, to lose the plot. <laughs> Dr. Nandipa said that the cop spelled it out in no uncertain terms that her father did not organize any car to deliver the dead body to the prison a few days before Bester cell was engulfed in flames. Now, remember the link that we shared on the channel before in one of our previous videos. I think it is titled uh, The Real Reason or The Reason Why Tabo, uh, Dr. Nandipa's father could have received bail or something like that. Look it up on the channel, guys. We did cover it. And I just want to remind you of what was happening, uh, how come he was arrested in the first place. And uh, about a week ago, we covered this story, and he was arrested in the first place because he was alleged to be the one who hired the baki that carried the now-identified Gatleho Bering. Mm. who was burned in Tabo Bester's cell. Mm. Now, this Baki was driven by Sinuhe Matswara, Mm -hmm. who is that guy who was a guard, apparently was the supervisor at the time at Mangaung Correctional Facility. And he also was spotted, you know, uh, after a couple of months, uh, having uh, bought a new car, a VW. We're just going to call him the VW guy. He's also uh, one of the accused right now. And 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 that car that Sinoha Matwara was driving, it drove into the prison at 4.52 p.m. on April the 29th, 2022. Nandipa's father was alleged to be the one who hired this Baki from Sene Fleet Management in Boxburg. And that same Baki was the one that carried the corpse of Katleho Bering in a plasma TV stand. So Sinohe Matswara asked three other officers to help him carry that plasma TV stand to the, so- to the storeroom. Not only that, but Dr. Nandipa's father also arrived at the prison on May the 3rd, 2022, to collect the so-called Tabo Beste body, of which now we've come to know that it was Katleho Bering that had burned in cell 35 before G4S could reach any of his next of kin to report him deceased. So prison officials are the ones who actually refused to hand the body over to him. 
because he wasn't registered as Bester's relative. Those were the allegations at the time that he was involved in this whole thing. And after that failed attempt to obtain the body, the following day, Dr. Nandipa is the one that arrived at that prison to claim the body, flaunting an affidavit and a statement from her father acknowledging that Besta was his daughter's customary wedded husband. And Makudumana's affidavit was commissioned in, Lim, in Polokwan, in Limpopo, by a police officer who was fired in January 2022, four months before the incident. Does that then sound like someone who was not involved? Then that's a question that we will leave with you. We are not going to we'll now. pack it for now, but we just was giving you a background in case you have forgotten and maybe you have developed this spot, the soft spot, or maybe the hard spot. I don't know if there is such thing and like that. And Dr. Nandi Power yes. saying my father was not involved. Okay. Just because she has said it. This is where now you see things changing. Just because she has said it, and if indeed that is alleged, as it is, it is alleged by mm -hmm. right by the way, yes, it, it is not the fact that we we, we have. And mm. if that is the case, now we are showing you that if it is alleged and it is true at some point as we go along, then you should know the power that now all of a sudden Dr. Nandipa has. Uh, mm -hmm. obtained in a sense of convincing everyone else and being believed and so, that is obviously based on allegations so we mm -hmm. are working on assumptions and we are just drawing the, the, the this analysis for you so that you understand and 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 as you grow through this you you understand where we are going mm -hmm. so it seems like a dr nandi patuk um the, the this whole allegation that was painted before that you know what my father did not drive anything my father is not involved my father did not drive that baki my father did not hire that baki so um, perhaps she said okay perhaps i forged uh, the, my father's documents perhaps asas the question is where are the camera footage uh, of this happening well i guess they were deleted or I guess they were not working. Maybe this is basically an assumption because there is a case of G4, uh, G4S, mm. which is a, a separate case in a sense, mm. but it sort of links to this. Let's say maybe they were not working at the time when the father arrived. Let us assume, but I'm hopeful that the outside cameras will be able to capture at least Him a glimpse entering. of this man if indeed he went there so that we know that, I mean, he can explain who was he visiting there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Continuing from where the police officer left off, Dr. Nandipa allegedly conceded that the plan was hatched by her and some of the prison officials who worked for G4S security company. Now, to think that even on social media, some people had been alleging that she was the mastermind behind the escape. Those were just allegations. And the cop said that Nandipa had also distanced her father from the other two bodies in free state mortuaries, she claimed, were the mortal remains of her father and brother. So there's still the other bodies, and I've just heard that one of uh, the people or the persons whose family members had been missing for since since last year, 2022, um, they are also looking for, for for to find out whether that body that was found in the river is their relative, family member of uh, Nandip. No, the family member of. Of a person who's had a family member missing since last oh, year. Oh, 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 yeah. I just wanted to clarify that yes. because it sounded like so. It's someone else it's who's someone not part else of, who's also missing and, yes. and is missing it's a lot around man. that timeline of of uh, 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 people disappearing. The bodies disappearing. Yes, it's an old man, mm. apparently sixty something years old, sixty six. Mm. Yes, so I just heard it on the news now. So the police source said that this is the reason why Nandipa's father was given bail and had his uh, murder charge dropped. Nandipa told them that she was working with Besta and Gats at Mangawum prison for her boyfriend's daring escape. So she was saying it was her, Besta, 
and the guards at G4S. Mm. The investigators also rubbished Dr. Nandipa's claim that she was married to Besta as false and farcical. Remember that Dr. Nandipa had claimed to be the uh, Tabo Besta's customary wife when she wanted to claim uh, Katla Bering's body claiming to want a traditional burial. Meanwhile, she was planning on cremating it. She even went as far as getting that avidavit proving to be Tabo Besta's customary wife. Mm. So now she, the, the police have rubbished those claims that they were never married customarily. So Dr. Nandipa's father allegedly told the police from Hrot Flay prison where he was detained that Besta did not pay any lobola for his daughter as per Nandi, Dr. Nandipa's claims, okay? Mm. And that she was not his customary wife. The former educator, by the way, uh, Dr. Nandipa's father was an educator. Yeah. I don't think he ever worked at G4S. I haven't found that information because I heard some of our uh, uh, subscribers were alleging that he has worked there before. Yeah, Apparently he was also working, head of an educator. Yeah, that's, that's what I've heard he of. He worked at the Department of Education. Apparently, to be closer to Dr. Nandipa, he actually was working at the head office in Pretoria, Department of Education there. Mm. So, yeah, that, that that's the track that we have right now. Nothing connecting him to G4X currently, mm. G4S. Yes. So Dr. Nandipa's claims that he was the customary wife were totally, totally uh, uh, debunked by her father. So he's saying that uh, she was not his customary wife. Uh, he said that Ma he only accepted Lobola from Makudumana's lawful husband, Dr. Mkuseli Makudumana. Hence, she's still using his surname. Um, he said as far as he is concerned, his daughter was still a Makoti of the Makudumanas despite being estranged, alleged the cop. Now, I also managed to find out some information that uh, apparently they were divorced uh, in 2021. So they are officially divorced. As it is alleged, because alleged. I mean, there's no certificate to prove yes. that. It's alleged that they filed a, for divorce. Yeah. So we, we are going to use a lot of allegations because in this case, you never know. But all I'm trying to I'm trying to look at now, it's, mm -hmm. it's does the father debunking that um, Dandipa indeed claimed that making any sense? Is there going to be a link from that affidavit that was... Uh, sown apparently, allegedly, mm -hmm. oh, by the way, apparently and allegedly sounds similar, just that the other one is legal and the other one is more relaxed in a sense. But now we are going to use it, I'm saying for those who... who for our English <laughs> teachers. teachers. Yeah, so there is that uh, sort of uh, thing that needs to be clarified. And if that is the case, who wrote that affidavit? And did if the father didn't, which is possible in any case, mm -hmm. even though it's wrong, mm -hmm. that someone would write an affidavit on behalf of 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 their father, mm -hmm. you wouldn't put it past. Uh, Especially uh, uh, considering uh, uh, that that the the person who wrote the affidavit was fired. Yeah. So those are the things that we need to look at, and we need to know who was sown on that affidavit. Who, saw, who, 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 who was really saying, I, Miss or Mrs. or Mr.? Mm. Who's that person? Mm. It, it's, it's a pity that these people are getting fired left and right, yet they're not getting arrested. Because yeah. these are things that we need to look at also. This thing of, yeah. of firing someone, it, it, it doesn't exempt them from breaking the law. No. Those people need to, to be arrested so that we can just get the information right away. Mm. Easily like that, we will exonerate those who need to be exonerated, yes. depending on the situation and circumstance. But in this case, this is a big case. Mm. Mm. So Dr. Nandipa's father also stated that he was not involved in any dealings relating to Bester's escape. And Nandipa also confirmed that when she was questioned. So the cop also alleged that Nandipa had taken all the responsibility and was helped with Bester's escape by G4S guards, prison officials, 
among others. This includes Debuho Polo, an employee at Integritron Integrated Solutions IT company. Dipolo was responsible for the prison CCTV cameras, which were allegedly dysfunctional when Bester's escape and uh, is accused of aiding and abetting in his escape. So the cop claimed that Dr. Nandipa is cooperating with the investigators and with the NPA and that she wants to throw Besta under the bus for everything. She was asked by the police about the missing maid and gardener, and she said she would explain everything once they had interrogated Besta. So the cops said they would now put all their attention on Besta this weekend as they prepare to interrogate him. Now, this is, isn't, is, don't you find it worth? You are in a situation where someone is. His back is against the wall, between the ro- the the what the the, the rock and mm-hmm. and whatever that you guys say, and then oh the rock and a hard and place. a hard place yes and 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 that person is detecting to you that go ask her. doesn't that sort of makes you feel like or gives you alarms of saying what is it that why should I be detected by this person to go and do one, two, three? What if this is something that was actually put together? What if you go to Bex and Bex that does the same thing? As in like also throw it's like, her it's like, the It's bus. like, you know what, 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 what I'm feeling like? Mm-hmm. This is a calculated move and be careful of it. Look at it this way. Mm-hmm. Someone needs to tell you everything and then says, halfway he says, no, listen, go. Go get more information from so and so. I will tell you more when you come back. So basically, it's an ammunition of saying, it's fine. I'm going to keep this. And mm-hmm. I want to hear what this other person is saying about me so that I can try to negotiate my way out using one, two, three. Why aren't you dishing it all? Dish exactly. it all. Exactly. It's hilarious. It's like it's like it's like I'm holding something. All of them. Tell if, everything. If, if it is true, as it is alleged, if it is true that 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 is the case, and in, I'm hearing Why that the, the police are, 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 are indeed sort of uh, affirming that direction, not to say affirming what uh, was said, but affirming that direction of saying we're focusing on Baxter now. If that is indeed ha- happening right now. Mm. I, I would turn the tables. I would turn and, the and tables. Exactly I would I would come back to you maybe at half twelve and say this is what Baxter is telling me. Mm. And and why hasn't That is Bester what we call investigation. Call you a bluff. Mm. Why hasn't Besta been interrogated yet? Because I feel like since they were together in the crooked place, they should be interrogated at the same time. Different rooms. Yes, mm-hmm. that, that's what I feel. I don't know. I don't know anything about uh, police I've, work. I've seen that in, in an American way being done. I've seen that in, in, in those American... You know, American way of doing things, it's totally different to ours. Well, ours, it has a structure. Because uh, now they're, they're uh, given first half, that time to think. First half, you get excited by small, small, small information. Small and young information. We're talking about people here. What we want to know is... Were them were, was there any any life or lives that were taken, and that is that is the gist of of this whole case. And then we will talk about the fraud and and whatnot that has happened. But the most important thing is to get everything. And if you are going to start interrogating one person, finish that person, Clark. All you need to do when you're coming to the other place from the other side you, is to say, here you were lying. Correct this. Mm. Why did you do Now you, you, you investigate halfway, you stop. Mm. When you need to know about people's life, you, you stop. Mm. A damage is happening wherever they are if really they, they, they are gone. I wasn't expecting them to give Besta that much time. I thought they are interrogating him already. Like they started the moment he entered Kosimambur. And this is a, this is someone who's well thought. You are giving him time oh my to God. rest. Oh. And then you 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 start with, and again I I feel this attention that is given to our 
so-called good doctor, which now is sort of turning her into a hero. Yes, she's. How saying, can you be a she, hero? She's cooperating. With how the can state. you be a hero after you scored an own goal and you go equal? You go score the other goal on the other side. You are not a hero. You are just rectifying what you could rectify at the time depending on the damage that has been done at the time. And probably you are going to be given those flowers. But if the, there is no need for flowers in this case, because since we are talking about people's lives, mm. I don't think that anyone deserves a flower. Mm. The investigators will be taking them, Dr. Nandipa and Beste, to the Hyde Park house they fled from to explain exactly where they allegedly buried the bodies. Mm, the police have arrested two guards, Sinuhe Matswara and Matunya Nimasugela. So National Police Spokesperson Brigadier Athlenda Mate said that the police investigations continue to ensure that we have a watertight case against all the accused. That's what she said. And the police investigations are at a sensitive stage and more arrests are imminent. So they are taking them back to the Hyde Park I mentioned to try and look. Remember, we also discussed the missing maid and the gardener, allegedly. Mm. So it is being alleged that their bodies may be buried in the Hyde Park mansion is an allegation for now. And the police are going to take Dr. Nandipa as well as Tabo Bese to hopefully get it out of them where those bodies are buried. Now, Andre Snayman, who is one of the private investigators who has been investigating Tabo Beste as far back as before Tabo Beste got arrested and convicted in 2011, said that he thinks that they should also ask where the missing security guard is. Now, apparently a security guard who worked in Hyde Park Mansion left his car behind and disappeared. Let's play the footage of the last time they went to the Hyde Park Mansion on the 13th of April. Where are your bodies? Yeah. Here? You say one of the bodies is here. Why would you say one of the bodies is here? Look, look at this place. Because here. you've got stuff growing here. And, uh, no, look at it. And then all of a sudden, over here, they did all this planting, just here. And they don't do any planting anywhere else, excepting where... <laughs> you should be a detective, and my friend. Up there, even the guy with the snipper dog, he said the ground's very soft. So, the, so why, haven't the, why, why, why haven't the cops dug up there yet? And over here. What did they do there? What's that fire all about there? Did the police come and collect that stuff? Did the police take all the stuff? Okay. So where else did they plant? Yeah. Yeah. Now, Andre Sneeman is doing what private investigators do, asking important questions. Like that mud, that pile of mud, it seemed like it was soil that was freshly dug up. Mm. You know, he's asking, what is that about? And also the green, fresh green vegetation at specific spots in the yard. He's suspecting that there, there could be actually something have happened, you know. Um, maybe something is being hidden that's underneath the ground. And he's wondering why the police haven't really checked for that. Yeah, considering that they got time after uh, 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 the... the, the, the the abruptly uh, exit of uh, the, these two, they got time to actually look 
and check. Now, uh, such things are things that obviously requires uh, people who are more experienced in terms of forensic, investigation. Forensic analysis. People who would understand that this is a freshly uh, digged uh, uh, soil. Mm. Why is it? Like, is it look like at it, have questions and, and, and ask questions. Because before you even go and try to investigate, mm -hmm. you must have created a proper case of saying there are three or four people that are missing, you know? So that you know what you're looking for. But if you are just doing it for, for cameras and all that, we are just going to go in there and, and, and release state press statements of you need to do investigation. People don't understand investigation. But the truth of the matter is that people who understand investigation, they went after you went in and yes. they still posing proper questions that needs to be answered. Because the problem is cameras shouldn't be the first priority. The first priority should be to understand the case. So I'm not an investigator myself, but I know for sure that before I go and investigate, I need to know what I'm investigating mm. so that I can really get evidence that is needed. It's like, a big, it's like being a data scientist, Emil. Mm. You, 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 you cannot be a data scientist that cannot understand the problem. Because mm. whatever you do, you are going to do it wrong if you don't understand the problem. You need mm. to understand first the problem and you analyze later and say, I'm analyzing based on one, two, three. So these are things that I probably have to look out for. So in this case, you go in and go out because you are just doing it so that you look like you're working. Mm. And I'm not saying that that's the case, but I'm feeling that if really indeed after this whole uh, saga of we are doing something uh, and then you go back now with your tails between uh, the legs and and you find out that actually you left crucial things there after mm. this then you should then hire people right people at right places and i'm very disappointed because after seeing the forensics and the raid the, remember the footage they were even wearing white and stuff yeah why were there no sniffing dogs why weren't they they, they like the, 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 the question it's like they is went simple. in there collected whatever they collected and they left and they never came back the question, now they are relying on nandipa and best there to point that this is where this is how far we are in terms of our South African investigation. So you, can you understand now the level of frustration that a normal citizen, because we're talking about now, this is a high level, high class, high profile. We, a yeah. normal citizen who go through these things. Hey. Oh. oh. And when you, when, you, when you talk to these people, they become so defensive. They are very because defensive. Because they know some of these things that we are probing. They are probably not there. So, other than all these things that you're talking about, it, it go, all goes back to one thing. You do not know what you are investigating. Hence, you are not going to bring dogs because you do not know what you are investigating. <sighs> but if you knew that there is three missing people, you are going to go with dogs. You are going to look at that house. You are going to turn it upside down. You understand what exactly. I'm saying? Exactly. You're going to dig. And and probably you are going to make communication with families of those people to get even their smell or whatsoever so that the dogs can actually know what they are looking for. But when... Because I remember also seeing, I don't know whether I saw it in a movie or the crime documentaries. There's this machine that can sense if there's something. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you, you are living. Now you, you are talking about Wakanda. I'm dreaming. I'm dreaming. <laughs> You're talking about Wakanda. Yeah. Now, right? I, I'm just so shocked at the fact that they are actually depending on Nandipa and Besta to confess or to show them. I, I, I believe that if they wanted to make this case a little bit more stronger, they would have found, they would have found these people and they would have had more weight to say, you know what, these are the charges. Now it seems like they are looking. They are also looking. Are you? 
So Dr. Nandipa's brother Nkosinati Segeleni told Sunday Times that he supports her sister. Change of tune. He yeah, also good. confirmed Blood is thicker that than water. voice recording of Tabo Beste threatening Dr. Nandipa. Remember guys, we listened to it as soon as it broke out on the internet. And he's saying that in that voice recording, Dr. Nandipa is indeed that voice. Okay, as well as Tabo Beste. In this case, what I would like to understand is what support is he giving? Is he giving the support of I believe her and she's, she didn't do, she didn't go to visit Baxter in jail, she didn't enjoy life since 2011. Which case is, she, is, he, is the brother believing now? And and Bella, we must not we must not under we must not underestimate the fact that there was monetary uh, sort of reward that people were looking for. Yes. And when they start to change the tune, people who have tendencies of doing that, they will eventually change the tune. And 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 we shouldn't be surprised. I'm 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 saying this because it's it's out there in the public, and we kind of were trying to say we defend it because we saw a person who was trying to get. Uh, attention of 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 uh, of of uh, lawmakers to to actually attend to this, and all of a sudden now you are becoming a, a team player of the other people. We are going to call it out because it's there mm. that uh, you you actually could be a, a person who goes for a higher bid. Now he's saying Tabo Beste ruled Doctor Nandipa with an iron fist. He said that he's determined Did to stand see that? by her, what despite happened? that challenging relationship. What happened to the Upex Tamagan Figalaus on Kausa Makan? Where did yeah, you say that? The, 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 the wife said that in that record, that phone call that hmm? Slindelo had with them, and she was like, uh, Nandipa came and said, hey, hey, Besta is going to come and shoot you in the head. Hey, you did say it, Emil. And I didn't want you to say it. Well, it's not gonna do anything. Mm. But who ye pi local man you go to zone cause a card? Where did it go? Mm. Well, let me continue. Well, he said that he's determined to stand by her despite their challenging relationship. So he's gonna stand by Unanji. What is what the, the question is I understand his standing. What is he standing for? I know blood is thicker than water. I know that people fight and forgive each other. The question is, what is he standing for? Is he standing for the law? Because that is also important to the mind that if we were to get this guy as a state witness or any any form of, 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 of going there and attesting or doing, or doing something for this case, we need to understand where he stands. Mm. Is he standing for the law or is he standing for for the family now? Because that is important. Mm. We don't want the case to be uh, <sighs> going cold because of such evidence that would be given by people who are sort of biased. Yep. He said that when you see your sister on the news like that, you feel for her. That's my sister. There are feelings from me about what she allegedly did, but that is my sister. He adds that Besta ruled Makutumana with an iron fist when they were dating, lost his temper, and there were fists of rage when she disobeyed him. Segeleni also confirms. The, the, the question here, Emily, is, is, and I will ask this question. I'm not about to stand in a court of law and, uh, and and give a testimony that my sister's boyfriend was doing things in front of me. Because that's what I want to know. Was this in front of you? Mm, did they witness? Did you witness this thing or you heard oh, this thing? Yeah. That is important. Or did she tell you or you, you witnessed it with your own eyes? Right now, he's starting to look. Let us continue. 
Well, uh, yeah, and also, um, Segeleni also confirmed that the leaked audio of a man berating a woman last week between Besta and his sister. I know what my sister sounds like. This is what he said. I We did not dispute the sister's no, we voice. we did not. We did not dispute. It is there. We definitely. What we are not sure of is a male voice. Yeah. But he is confirming even the male voice. He said, uh, uh, "My what my I know what my sister sounds like when she's backed into a corner. That's her voice. That is how she sounds when she is confronted. The voice note is genuine. That is Tabo Best. Was day. she backed in a corner when they were arrested in Tanzania? That's a question. It could be Tabo Best, and we didn't dispute also for that. What we are saying is that." Was this done in Tanzania or in Elobrain? Where was it done? Where was it done? I think that was the main What is the timeline of that thing? When was it recorded? When was it recorded? And what is the nice thing about this thing is that when you do a voice recorder on a phone, it records the time, the date and, the date time. and time. And there's a ways of verifying that. So that's what we want to see. If you are saying that's, that's your sister being... Now... Not to say we are still now forgiving that part of her willingly going there, if allegedly willingly going there. We, we, we are not. But let's say we were to entertain the issue of uh, 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 the, 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 the physical uh, uh, things that were happening between them. We would like to know when this was recorded. And how many recordings you have of this man doing this thing? Mm. Because you started developing that habit of reporting, of, of recording. When was it that you started uh, this habit of repo- recording? And if you do have other records, help us release them so that now we know all of them in any case. Mm. Not one. Mm. 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 He said the voice note is genuine. That is Tabo Beste. I know his voice. It is exactly how he sounds. He also described that Tabo Beste is someone with a bad temper and often resorts to violence without hesitation. Isn't that what the the, the, the cases that is allegedly arrested for were describing? Uh, should we be now uh, shocked. shocked that that is the case? This man is a man who was arrested for things that are sort of aligning to 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 to, to, to what we, we you are telling us. It's not news it's to us. News. We we expected it, but I, I guess your sister was hoping that uh, things would go different for her. Or she will. He will change. Mm-hmm. Though he hasn't been able to communicate with his sister, he talked to people who were in contact with her and has informed her that if she needs anything to keep her safe, he will assist. To keep her safe. You see that if I was a lawyer. Because I know some of these people are going to be showing up there as witnesses, as whatsoever that they will be showing up. Character witnesses. Let's say I was to bring that in. You were to bring that card in of uh, I was taken against my will. And then your brother stands there. I would have him for, I would have him for lunch. For such things. For going in media and speaking willingly. And say, I will do anything. And I will ask her. The day he goes and character assassinate uh, Baxter. If I was Baxter's lawyer, I would ask her, is this anything? That we are doing right now is this you in this media saying that uh, you would do anything and is this forming part of anything no he, he will probably deny it and say that the journalists are lying he did not say that you know how they do <laughs> there's records normally when this journalist calls you there's records some of them are you not know how they like, do. They're like, oh, they lie. Oh, whatever, whatever. I am not copy. You will see it. Well, uh, guys, what do you think? Mm. I, I might sound like I'm insensitive, and perhaps I am, because but I'm more sensitive. Opinion. Because I'm more sensitive towards the victims. The victims. The, the real victims, victims. The real victims who have. Passed on. Whose Real families victims. are grieving right now when so, they didn't have to? 
tell us what you think. I know that I'm not always right. But do you think that I'm far-fetched? Mm. That's a question. And please subscribe and like the video. And again, today it was a bit hot. Yeah, today was too much. Thank you. And teachers, please correct where we went wrong. In Kindly, English. please. Kindly correct us. Don't be too harsh. Don't, don't be make too harsh. A, don't make me scared to come back no, to no, no. camera. You know what the funny thing is? English is not ours. If we were to use our languages, there are people who would not hear us. Yes. So what we are using is what we were given. Yes. So we are going to use it the way we use it. Yes. Uh, if you know more closer to Shakespeare, thank you very much. Correct us. That's a buy from Mr. Anonymous. It's a buy from me too.